Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. and the First Lady. And now, we will start the ribbon cutting ceremony to be led by the President and the First Lady, together with the DPWA Secretary Manuel Bonoan and Korean Ambassador Lee sung Hwan. Ready, Mr. President? At the count of three. One, two, and three. Let us give them a round of applause. At this point, may we again request the President and the First Lady, together with the DPWA Secretary Puno An and Korean Ambassador Lee sang Wak to lead the unveiling of the project marker. Ready, Mr. President. At the count of three. One, two, and three. The marker reads as follows. Pongil Bay Bridge Project, inaugurated by His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you, Mr. President. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. Now be seated. Maayong buntag kaninyong tanan and welcome to the inauguration of the Pangil Bay Bridge Project. To formally begin our program, May we call on Ms. Sami's Occidental Governor, Henry Obaminal Sr. for his welcome remarks. His Excellency, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., Sir, and First Lady, Mom Luis Aranita Marcos, National and local officials of Lano del Norte, represented here by Governor Anging Dimapuro, the local and national officials of the Summit Occidental, we have heard the top congressman, Congressman Anto Waminal and Jason Almonte, other guests. Spangil Bay, a monumental structure is rising. An inter-island bridge that represents a critical turning point in the infrastructure development of northern Mindanao. This is the Pangil Bay Bridge Project of the Department of Public Works and Highways. Total of 3.17 kilometers, the two-lane Pangil Bay Bridge is at present the longest sea-crossing bridge in Mindanao and one of the most significant infrastructure projects in the country. This infrastructure flagship project will establish direct connectivity between Tangub City and Misamis Occidental and the municipality of Tubod in Lanao del Norte. It 
consists of a cable-stayed main bridge with a central span of 320 lineal meters. A 1,920 lineal meter approach viaduct supported by pre-stressed concrete box girder and a 929 lineal meter approach road. This state-of-the-art bridge, anchored by two concrete pylons, is designed to withstand the challenging weather and maritime conditions of Pangil Bay. This ensures maximum stability, safety, and durability for the benefit of generations to come. This engineering feat is a multi-billion peso investment with financial support by official development assistance from the Korean Export-Import Bank through the Economic Development Cooperation Fund. At present, travel between Tubod, Lano del Norte, and Tanggub City, Misamis Occidental, requires a two-hour journey via roll-on, roll-off ferry service. With the bridge structure, travel time will be reduced to just seven-minute drive, ensuring a more efficient and unhampered access to goods and services, education, and healthcare. Additionally, it will cater to an estimated traffic capacity of 10,000 vehicles daily, enhancing transportation links between northern and central Mindanao and Zamboanga Peninsula. Implemented by the DPWH Unified Project Management Office, Roads Management Cluster 2, the completion of the project is expected to boost trade, tourism, and economic development. Tangil Bay Bridge is poised to be a catalyst for progress, a game changer not only for the people of Masamis Occidental and Lano del Norte, but for the entire Mindanao. It will strengthen the region's position as a vital economic corridor supporting the goals of a bagong Pilipinas, where modernized infrastructure fuels growth and improves the lives of Filipinos. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you, uh, Secretary Manu Bunuan, for your uh, briefing and the kind introduction. Please, uh, let's take our seats. Uh, the Ambassador of... of uh, the Republic of Korea to the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Lee Sang Wang. We are, we, we are, uh, this is, uh, this is becoming more and more often where we are opening new projects. I hope we can not only continue, but even accelerate uh, all of that we are trying, all of that we are doing. The uh, Mindanao Development Authority, Secretary Leo Magno, the Misamis Occidental First District Representative, Jason Almonte. Misamis Second District Representative, Sancho Fernando Ando Oaminal. Lano del Norte Second District Representative, Siti Amina de Mapuro. I see. Well, uh, we have heard from the uh, Provincial Governor of uh, Mis uh, Misamis Occidental, Henry Oaminal. And uh, Provincial Governor of Lanao del Norte, Angling Dimapuro. Uh, after her speech, sinasabi ko sa kanya, huwag mo masyadong binabanggit na Lanao del Norte is uh, uh, pa, very high on the list of priorities. Baka magtampo, nagtatampo na si Governor Henry Ominal. Sabi niya, nagsiselos na siya sa atin. Uh, Tangup, Tangup City Mayor Ben Kanama. Yes. And uh, a, uh, a surprise visitor, a uh, pleasant surprise that we all had is the uh, arrival and uh, accompanying me, the First Lady, First Lady Lisa Araneta. <laughs> My fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, before I continue, I have to also, uh, I have to also acknowledge the presence here of the representatives of the Exim Bank, the contractors from Korea, the local contractors who have worked together to make this, I can only describe is a dream come true. Good morning to you all. 
Let me start by saying, ang tagal na nating inantay nito, hindi ba? I just said we waited for this such a long time. If I had a peso for every time someone asked me, when will we finish the Pangil Bay Bridge? I would already be able to fund a second bridge by now. But today, the waiting is ended. We are here for the inauguration of the Pangil Bay Bridge project, a day that we have long looked forward to. If we take all the time from the very moment of conception of this bridge until today, it has been four decades. And uh, uh, that is why uh, we continuously are uh, commenting on the fact that uh, how happy all of us are to, ha to be here today to open uh, this bridge so that it can service both the Misamis Occidental side and the Lanao del Norte side and uh, the advantages that it will bring. Years of planning, months of hard work, countless hurdles, and now we stand before the realization of one of the infrastructure flagship projects of this administration. Costing more than 8 billion pesos, this 3.2 kilometer project is now the longest water spanning bridge in Mindanao. The bridge connects two provinces. More importantly, we all know that uh, the increased economic activity is going to be uh, a very important development uh, building block for both the provinces and for the entire island of Mindanao. But more than just a physical bridge, we are connecting the dreams and aspirations of the people of Lano del Norte and of Misamis Occidental. For far too long, our brothers and sisters here have had to deal with over two-hour commutes across the bay. Ang layo nang iikutin bago makarating. Dito sa Tanggub, dito sa Kabila, this shall always taken a very long time. Now, this is the, those two hours can be spent on work or on simply living their lives. With this bridge, what once took two hours will now take seven minutes and will benefit 10,000 travelers a day. I heard the story of architect Romeo Juicio, a proud resident of Tubud, Lano del Norte. He grew up hearing about a bridge that would one day connect the town of Tango Misamis Occidental. And for years, it was just a dream, something people would talk about, but we never finally saw. In the past, he, he imagined how life would change if that bridge would come to reality. And now, he is a witness to his dream, this dream of all of us being fulfilled. It is undeniable that this journey has not been easy. From the 1998 pre-feasibility study conducted on the bridge, to the moment that we broke ground in 2018, this bridge encountered very many challenges. When the pandemic hit, the DPWH had to pause and had to recalibrate and revisit about and uh, create techniques and strategies on how they could move forward with this project. And just when they thought that there was a way to continue the construction of the bridge, funding issues stopped it again and slowed it down again. Pero hindi tayo nagpapati ng, ng basta-basta. We do not get intimidated or discouraged by uh, obstacles that are put in our way. We worked harder, pushed harder, never lost sight of why we are building this bridge. And while we are celebrating this monumental achievement, I would like to highlight the ripple effect it will have on local businesses. Take, for instance, the story of a remarkable local entrepreneur that we encountered recently. This inspiring woman, Ms. Erlinda Mojica, runs a small business dedicated to providing fresh produce to her community. Before, when the barge closed at night, there was no choice but to take the long route around the bay, wasting a great deal of time. Now, they can transport their goods whenever they need, no time lost, according to their own schedules. Imagine the frustration. Fresh produce ready to go. But her dreams were held hostage by prolonged delays. With the opening of the bridge, she expressed her excitement, saying that her goods would now reach the market in minutes ahead of hours, alleviating her worries about spoilage and missed sales. 
yung mga saging hindi na magiging ketchup. <laughs> the bridge is a gateway to a world where distance no longer limits our dreams, where aspirations can take flight, and where the ambitions of entrepreneurs fuel growth and prosperity. It re- this, this achievement reflects our collective strength and manifests our continuing determination. And to that end, I want to acknowledge our partners in the Korean government and the Korean Exim Bank. Thank you very much. Your unwavering support has been instrumental in turning this dream into reality. And before, lest anyone think that uh, the uh, projects between uh, uh, the Republic of Korea, the Economic Develop- uh, Development Co- Cooperation Fund, and uh, the ex- uh, through the Exim Bank of Korea, uh, that this is one of the, this is, this is an isolated project. I would just like to show everyone how many EDCF projects are ongoing in the Philippines. There are 21 ongoing projects and two upcoming projects. And some of these are the biggest projects. And that is how involved and how much the, uh, the, uh, the, Economic Development Co- Cooperation Fund of Korea uh, has, uh, has been part of all our development programs and all our aspirations for making our people live in a much safer, much more efficient, and much more healthful lifestyle. To the DPWH, Secretary Mani Bonuan. And all the people who committed to the completion of the Pangil Bay Bridge project, your efforts are self-explanatory whenever we will cross this bridge or even see a picture of this bridge. You have shown, you have shown once again that perseverance pays off. As we celebrate this theme, let us remember that the Pangil Bay Bridge is indeed the foundation on which we can build more bridges. Bridges that connect not just places, but connects opportunities and communities. Let us make this success a launchpad for further development to ensure that this project opens new doors to progress and prosperity. Hindi po tayo, hindi po tayo nagtatapos dito sa ating pag-uusap ngayong araw na ito. It is just the beginning. We are building a Bagong Pilipinas, one where every Filipino, no matter how far, no matter how remote, is somehow connected. Together, we will welcome the dawn of a future where every dream has the wings to soar, every entrepreneur has a path to success, and every child can aspire to greatness without the burden of travel and long distances. Dagang salamat kaninyong tanan o babuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Thank you, Mr. President.